All right, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make your game as vibrant as mine. Now, now in the last video I made, you guys left a bunch of questions down in the comments, so today I'll just be answering. So before I show you guys the actual digital vibrant setting, I do recommend to have like a really good GPU. I'm not sure what the lowest you can go is, but I, I want to say like if you average at least 144 FPS, because if you put this on, it's going to drop your FPS by at least 20 and you will have stutters. So I do recommend having a really good GPU for a start. And a good GPU could be like a 1660 Ti. Um, I'm not really sure what's underneath the 1660 Ti, but it works perfectly with my GPU. So that's what I'm going off. I'm pretty sure there are GPUs that are worse than mine than could find. If you have a low end GPU, just test it out before you actually go in an actual match because you will be lagging. But to answer some questions before, okay, so the first thing you have to do is you want to go to your GeForce experience, you want to go to settings, and you want to make sure your in-game overlay is on. Now, once this is on, you should be fine, but just in case you force game driver downloaded, the latest one downloaded, right now I don't have it downloaded, but just in case it's not working for you, just have it updated. Now, if you have an AMD graphics card, I figured out how to like make it work for you. You just go to your AMD profile for Valorant and then you turn on custom color, turn on saturation to 200 and contrast to 125. That was a comment on the last video. And since I don't have an AMD GPU, I can't really show you guys. Like just, just go off my word, I guess. But now that you like have everything set up, you wanna press Alt Z and then you wanna go to game filter. And then you can pick you can pick up the three styles as you can see this is like default Valorant and then this is with the game filter on I could put it by side by side actually uh, yeah so you can see there's a huge difference but anyway the settings for this are brightness and contrast exposure is zero contrast 30 percent highlights 46 percent negative 46 percent shadows on negative 100 percent gamma 16 percent now you can pause this video as i'm going through this but color tint color on zero percent tint intensity zero percent temperature on zero vibrance on 80. next thing is details in and Thirteen percent, thirty, negative eight, HDR toning, forty-two percent, bloom zero, and the last one should be sharpened. Yeah, last one sharpened. Sharpen on fifty percent, ignore film grain on fifteen percent. Those are the settings. You can pause the video right now and just copy those down. But anyway, yeah, this is what it looks like. Like side by side. A huge difference. Uh. I also saw in the comments of the last video that for crosshair, th this is my crosshair settings. She asked me what my crosshair was. But yeah, you can pause the video as well. Just copy it down. Oh, and one more thing before the video ends. If your game says, or if your NVIDIA, when you press Alt-Z says, it, please restart your game if you want this feature to work. Try Alt-Z twice before re actually restarting your game and then restart your game. And just keep trying it until it actually like pops up because it usually takes once or twice. And sometimes it takes like none at all, but that's just depending on, I'm not sure what it's based on, but it's a little buggy. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content.